Hello everybody, this is just a uh, very quick video to show you how to set up one of these uh, mobile Wi-Fi or MiFi devices, if you will. Now this particular device is the TP-Link M3750. Um, I do have the M700, sorry, it's M7000 version of this, which is in my wife's car. Now the benefit of this is that you won't be using the car's 1 gig data. Um, and you can do everything you want to do on this because uh, you can put your own SIM card in this rather than faffing about see if you can change the eSIM or physical SIM inside the car plus I don't think if you are able to change the SIM inside your vehicle it will work because these are configured to BYD servers but uh, that's something I'm going to be looking into more but um, yeah, when you get these you unbox them install your SIM card Take note of this uh, wireless password and the SSID. The SSID is your network name. Uh, and you will go to the um, TP-Link MiFi.net website address. Log in using those, pass that password. Um, and then you can configure yours. This has already been configured, so obviously I'm not going to log into the um, the control panel to show you my settings and stuff like that. Obviously, I know the chances of us meeting is slim to none, but obviously security is security. So just remember that as well. So once you've done that, you um, basically install your battery, which you'll just have to bear with me because I am uh, one-handed. So once that's done, I will show you um, a clip of the uh, apps control panel. And how to add, add the oh, and how to <coughs> excuse me and how to add the device. Also, I don't know what power this is or how if it'll even power on because of the battery charge. Because I've not used it in quite a while because I've not been out in my vehicle because I've been um, running in and breaking in my wife's car. So I'm making sure she gets the miles upon hers. Um, so to turn it on, obviously, just keep pressing all of that. On the power button so there you go it is powering on you can see though it's initializing obviously it'll come up here in the top corner once it's connected so there you go so the it is now broadcasting the wi-fi lights come on so obviously if i come over to the car this one is my house's wi-fi but obviously if i just refresh this mine's there now so then obviously I will just reconnect to that one. One thing I've noticed with the car, they are a bit slow in letting you select. So there you go. So now I'm using my MiFi device for everything in the car. That's why I'm using it for my maps and stuff like that. Spotify, if you use that. Or even your Android Auto. Um, because obviously your Android Auto is on your phones so whatever your phone's connected to that's if you connect your phone to the MiFi device as well if not then obviously it'll continue to use the Android Auto's network I believe like I said I don't really use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay to do any of that sort of stuff for myself but yep yeah, uh, the app setup is very quick and I will go through that very very shortly I will put in or try to put in a uh, video at the end of this one to show you the app setup so um yep hopefully fingers crossed the next clip you see will be of the app setup right hello everybody um hopefully this works and i can only apologize if not but i can re-upload it separately um if needed so this is how you basically set up the app so as I mentioned in the last video, or sorry, at the beginning of the video, the um, SSID and network and the website link that you go to, uh, I think it was tplinkmifi.net, once you've gone in there, configured your network, you obviously go to your Play Store and download this app. And obviously once you've opened it, it will come up like this, but obviously you need to connect to the device first. So... Go to your wireless networks, search for it. So as you can see, mine's here, the drive tech inside. 
click on that, enter your password that you've set for your network. I see that I'm connected to it. So I come back to the app, click I'm connected, searching, and there you go. It really is as simple as that. Um, if you get sent any text messages and stuff like that from your network, you can come into this app and you can read them. And you can actually, I think you can send them as well. Uh, there you go. Yep, you can actually text from this as well. It is pretty much really easy to do once you get your head around it. Um, but this is the simplest. And you can also come in and you can actually, I mean, there you go. I said I weren't going to share it, but there you go. That's what I set mine to. Um, you can even hide your network so no one else can get on there. Um, but yeah, it is pretty much self-explanatory i mean although i've showed there that my network name and my password i'll probably block out the password one to be honest um but might not i might not even bother but yeah but um once that's done it's very you're up and running and this is where you can keep track of your your data usage if you get the m7000 model if you get this one comes a little panel on the front and it shows you exactly how much data you've used. Uh, there is networks out there. One I would highly recommend is one called Smarty. The plans for data only sim start at like, I think it's £10 a month. And you get a ridiculous amount of data for that. Um, I personally used to use them. But I've got a unlimited data sim card from my mobile provider. Um that's why I just use that to be honest. Um, but Smarty, I can't I can't recommend them enough. Uh, they're reliable. They're run by the three network, and to be honest, they're probably better than the three network. And trust me, I'm on three. Um, <laughs> but yeah, as I said, set up your SSID. Come to the app. If it says you're not connected, make sure that you are connected to the device through your Wi-Fi network on your phone. Um, and then go back to the app and log it in there and make sure that the device is connected. Um, and then you can go ahead and connect it into the car and anything else that you want. Anybody else who wants to connect again, get them to search for the network and connect using the password that you've set for it. Uh, I do a lot of errors in my videos, I've just realised. If, um, if you like these videos, like I said, I do appreciate your feedback. Um, and your likes and stuff like that the mean more than you think and i appreciate every single one of you who's took the time to watch like and subscribe and comment so if you do like them i uh do hope that um i continue making videos that you enjoy even though i might not be the best available i'm probably not the most reliable or might not even be correct at the information that i give it's just the information i i find out personally so yeah, if you like them, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one guys. Thank you very much.